everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Amy and thank you so much for joining me today I hope that you're having a great day and a great week so far whenever you're watching this video today is going to be my graveyard project pan update for the month of August it's a little late but better late than never so I feel like I have some exciting updates um, this graveyard project pan, if you are not aware, was created by Emily N. Max here on YouTube, and she is a wonderfully creative project panner, and she created this project pan with the goal of using products that you um, are neglecting, really. Um, so the graveyard project pan has two themes, two categories and themes. The first theme is um, collecting cobwebs. So these are products that are truly just sitting in your collection being neglected and you're not using them at all. So this project is to help encourage you to use those products that are feeling left out. The second category that Emily created was the resurrection category. And the resurrection category is to bring back to life products that you have used in other projects and just didn't get to finish or hit your goal on. So I have um, kind of both. I have um, five, six, I think it's supposed to be six, but I think I only have one. Spreadsheets and make sure I have all the things that I need. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, one of them's not actually in front of me, but I'm going to show it to you in a different way. Um, so the first project product that I want to talk to you about is um, this one. This is the one that I didn't actually have in front of me, and I messed up my finger today cutting some potatoes. Uh, <clears throat> so I have three um, Essie fingernail polishes and I really just have a hard time <laughs> little baby boy um, I have a really hard time having the patience to sit down and do my fingers so I put the my fingernail polishes in this project with the goal to use each one three times and so I'm happy to report that I finally have um, painted my fingernails with this blue color three times it looks very sad. I just did this last night, and again, I it's it's just real sad. I I immediately messed it up, but I hit my goal. So the other two colors that I have are a pink color and kind of like a gold color, and it's really really one of my favorite ones. The pink and this blue are the Essie um, Quick Dry formula, and you know they're they're nice. I j again, I just I have to um very impatient person so it's hard for me to sit down for 10 minutes to let my fingernails dry but I did hit my goal on one of the colors so now I have two more colors that I need to continue to try to use three times before the end of this project which is October 31st hence the graveyard spooky theme okay um, <clears throat> another goal that I have not really met is this um, mattifying face primer um, really, I, most of the year my face is pretty dry, so with this being called mattifying, I wasn't really using it. So this is under my collecting cobwebs category, as was the fingernail polish. Uh, <clears throat> but upon using this, um, it's not really mattifying, and it's quite oily, and when I tried to use it the um, for the first time, the stopper squeezed off. So now I have all this pro product chunky um, here in the cap and so I am maybe about right here um, having to finish this and so that is my goal is to finish this and I really don't feel like this does anything at all. I'm just trying to say I did actually complete this and this was free um, with <clears throat> like one of those Ulta Beauty bags that they do um, so I didn't really spend any money on it but I'm just trying to like um, charge through and actually um, finish it 
even though I don't really feel like it does anything at all. Um, so now for, okay, one more. Um, I had this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow stick in the shade Golden Pink. This is also collecting cobwebs. Um, I don't, this one I don't really like a whole lot, but it might be a little better now. It, um, it was really chunky, but I think it's, I think I kind of wore off the chunky part. Um, I just have a hard time with these shadow sticks, um, from Bobbi Brown. I don't think it has anything to do with the shadow stick. It's probably me and what I'm doing. Um, but I feel like I have, it just it hurts my eye ball to like rub sticks all over my eyes so even though I really think that sticks are pretty cool and I would love to um, you know kind of get into that I don't know that that sticks are gonna be for me so this is a collecting cobwebs um, product also because I don't really use it a whole lot and it's kind of glittery like I don't know if you can tell as I have rubbed that off um, with my little headband here um, I don't think you can see it's kind of glittery I don't really I don't know I, I, that's not my favorite one my other one's not really my favorite one either I think I also just don't like the colors that I picked but alas I'm gonna try to use it my goal is to use this 20 times and I've used it three times so I think I've been working on this for a month or two um, but we'll keep working on it I can probably hit my goal if I really think about it before the end of October. Now for the good stuff. Really, really, I think you're supposed to have six products in this project and I only have five. Um, I don't know how that happened. I think I just forgot. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one. This is the Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream that I got as a birthday gift from Ulta last year and my goal was to finish this and between me and my daughter, we did. It is all the way empty. I got her cleaned out. And <clears throat> I'm gonna replace it with something that I'll show you in a second. Now, for the one I'm the most proud of, I had a very lofty goal on this Ulta, Ulta Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Sunset. This is a resurrection category product. I tried to use this. I had this in a project, maybe the same one last year, and I really wanted to try to finish it this year because this is um, old. This is about three years old, but it's still working fine. <coughs> um, I had a goal to use this 50 times at the start of this project, which was um, the beginning of April, I believe, and I met my goal. Um, I used this 50 times. I did not finish it, but it's pretty close to finishing. I think it's about like down, down to here maybe. Um, so I think what I might do with this is next year, I think I'm going to participate in the Partners in Cream pro project because um, I'm accumulating a lot of cream products, especially cream blush. So I think I might try to put this in that project next year <coughs> to, um, hopefully use it up but I made my 50 uses and I'm really thankful and happy for that now because I'm at my goal of finishing this and hitting 50 uses on my Ulta blush I am now going to share with you the two products that I'm replacing those with and I'm pretty sure it's going to take me until the end of the project October 31st to reach my goal but that's okay um, to replace this Living Proof cream, I picked another Collecting Cobwebs product in my collection, which is the Way um, Volume Spray. Um, so I usually try to like hair thing, hair thing. Old, you'll see in a second, the, um, um, this is old, so I picked something else that's kind of old. Um, so my when I started, um, using this a week or so ago it was up to like this this word line so and within a week I've already made it down to the next line so I'm pretty happy about that so I'm gonna try to keep this in for the rest of the project and my goal is to get it down to here where it says warning I don't know I don't think you can see that warning 
So that's gonna be my goal to use this. It makes my hair smell really, really nice, but when it's longer, I don't like the way that this makes my hair feel. Um, but now that I'm kind of doing shorter hair, it's actually working out really nicely for me. I like it. So I'm looking forward to using that every day. Now to replace this guy, the Ulta Cream Blush, which is an old product, I picked my oldest lipstick, which is about three years old also, but it's still rocking and rolling. It smells fine. It tastes fine, whatever. Um, it's the Believe Beauty um, a Satin Crush Lipstick in the shade Vintage Romance. And I'm so close to finishing this. So I've been working on it a little bit more over the past week or so. Whenever I finished, or whenever I hit my goal on the cream blush. So my goal is to finish this by the end of October 31st. We'll see. I don't know that I'm actually going to be able to finish it. Um, <clears throat> because I really do want to take advantage of these warmer months and use something else that's kind of old in my collection. Which is this lippy stick from uh, Color Pop. And it goes really well with the warmer months. So, um, I'm going to try to get as much use out of this as I can for the month of September. Um, and then I'm probably going to alternate with the color pop warmer shade. So, that is my update. I'm really proud that I was able to hit a really lofty goal and finish something that, you know, wasn't really something I would normally buy, but I was pretty happy about that. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will leave Emily's channel linked below where you can go find all kinds of really good information about her and her projects that she creates. I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!